What's up everyone? AJ here with Addicted to Fishing. Wanted to make a small tutorial on my personal favorite rig known as the Fish Finder Rig. Pretty common, I'm sure you've heard of it. Just going to show you how I make first mine. First things first, a circle hook, my favorite. Octopus. Usually Team Catfish is my preference. Size 6, 7, or even 8 on, depending on the bait size. I like the Team Catfish sinker slides. They got a nice little bumper to protect your knot. And of course the actual weight holder that slides up and down your main line. I'll show you all that in here in a little bit. A lot of people prefer the actual weights that slide onto the main line. I use braid, braid phrase. This is the main reason I like to use this is that I have to alternate weight sizes a lot because I fish a lot of different rivers with a lot of different currents, sometimes heavy weights, small weights. But with this, I can change them regularly without uh, having to retie. And then also a barrel swivel. These particular ones are 150 pound barrel swivels. Uh, these are just what I had and they're huge so they're good for video purposes. I usually uh, use a little bit smaller ones for my catfish rigs but these are what I make guard rigs out of usually using steel leaders and crimps. A disc weight, my personal favorite. A lot of people use uh, like the no roll end lines or just your any kind, any kind of weight, pyramid weights, but discs are my favorite because they do not roll. And uh, they're just general weights, so you can get them up four or five ounces. I've even seen them to six ounces, again, depending on the current you're fishing. Any sort of monofilament, uh, pound of your choice, I use 40 to 80. The main leader line, I usually like to have about one foot to 18 inches or so. Where the longer you go, you just have more room for your line to be or your bait to be dangling and, and flipping around in the current, flipping and spinning and potentially getting tangled up. Preference of knot is the snail. Take your leader line, slide it through the eye. I like to give a little extra. We have that through the eye. We're going to wrap it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. I'll do eight. I usually do eight to ten. Now, here's where some people can make it different. You can either insert through the top of the eye or the back of the eye. I prefer the back because of the angle of the hook when you're done tying the knot. I'll show you. Feeding it right back through that eye. Same leader line. Boom. And you'll notice the tighter you pull, tighter it cinches up on that leader on that hook I'll grab the shank of the hook boom, pull that tight and uh, all this knot does is tighten up as you fish the harder you pull you get snagged up you fight a fish whatever it gets tighter and tighter and tighter so if I was to tie this knot with the mono through the top side it kind of makes that hook pushes it that way, which I think could affect the hook set, so I prefer it this way. It's kind of straight in line, as you can tell. Trim that up. It stays out of the way pretty good. Nice and straight. I leave a little bit of room, because like I say, it is going to cinch up more and more. The longer you have this knot tied, the more it cinches up. Now for the barrel swivel. Trimming this down to length. And like I said, usually 12 inches to 18 inches, but I'm gonna cut this very short just for the angle of my camera. I will go right about here. Again, this is way short, but it's just for video purposes so I can fit it all in the camera. Take this here, run it through the eye once, around, back in again. Make a nice little loop there. Then I'll usually go around five to six times. In this case, I'm not. I don't have much string to play with. I have now raveled it. And I'm going to go back through both holes. The little loop I just made and the bottom of the line I'm twisting. Grab that. And I'm going to bite it and pull it. I just bit it and pulled it, but that's what it ends up looking like. Another knot where it's, the only thing that happens is it gets tighter and tighter and tighter. Can you see that? The more I pull on it, the tighter it gets. 
trim that extra line. And again, I'm going to leave a little bit because, like I say, it's going to get tighter and tighter. That's it. Right there. Let me show you where the disc weight comes to play. Right here with the sinker's line attached to the main line, which, like I said, I usually use braided. So in this case, when, before you attach to your main line, you're going to attach your swivel and sleeve. Feed that on through there to your main line. And this main line is not attached to anything, so it's just going to kind of slide. Your bump stop or knot protector, this nice little rubber contraption here, slide it through as well. Just like so. Let me slide this stuff out of the way. Now you attach your main line to your bare swivel. And my personal favorite knot on a braided line is as this show. Make a nice little loop. Kind of pinch it so it'll fit through there. And I'm going to make mine just a little large again for video purposes. around. Stick that loop you just made through the circle you just made. You kind of pull that, not tight, don't pull it all the way tight. You're fixing to cinch it up. And you'll take that hook, run it through that hole you just made. Just like that. Get that loop on and around. Then take your main line, pull it tight. I don't like to pull it all the way tight before I grab the tag end, pull it as well, give it a few jerks, wrap it around, give it a few jerks, and your leader is like that. Of course, I'm going to track, I'll trim my tag end here. I'm not going to trim it all the way down. You guys get the point. So, when you fish this, it'll attach your disc weight to your swivel and there you have it so when this sits in the water you'll cast it kind of pull it tight of course your weight is on the ground your main line is attached to your rod of course and then your bait here is usually floating in the current up kind of here kind of drifting a little bit there's no current of course on the ground so when that fish comes to grab it, he's going to grab it, and he's not going to feel tension right away. He's going to tug, and that weight's going to sit. And when he finally picks that thing up enough to where, and he's going quick enough to pick that weight up, and you set the hook, that hook's now pulling down on his lip because of that weight. And you pull that hook, bam. That's why it's my favorite. It pulls down and gets that lip real nice. That and the circle hook's just amazing. It's really hard to beat them. That's it, fellas. Uh, questions or comments, leave them. If I can make this video better, please let me know. I'm just starting out. I will be glad to improve in any way possible. Any questions, I'll make another video. Not time, whatever. I appreciate you for tuning in. Thanks a lot.